Hello and welcome back. Now we've done all this work to create a character that has shooting capabilities, movement capabilities, and everything looks really good. But we don't have anything to shoot at. We need some enemies. So the remainder of this course is going to be on creating an enemy class. So if we're going to have enemies, we need enemy assets. What are we going to do? Well, thanks to Epic Games, there is no shortage of free content when it comes to characters with animations, particle systems, and so on. All we need to do is open our Epic Games launcher and go to the marketplace and search the free collection. Now you can buy assets, but for this course, we're working with all free stuff. So we're going to search for Paragon once again. The Paragon assets are such high quality, it's insane. We're going to use some Paragon assets for our enemies, so let's go ahead and choose some. Now the first enemies we're going to create are going to be enemies that attack with melee weapons. That means they're going to walk up and whack you with something. This is a little more simple than enemies that shoot at you, so we'll start with that. Now, I like the Paragon Grux character. Take a look at this. It's basically this big beast that's holding a couple of sticks he wants to whack you with. Now, the cool thing about the Paragon assets are the multiple skins. It's essentially several characters in one. Take a look at the different skins that come with this character. This means that we can create a character using this mesh and swap out different skins and reuse all of our work since all these skins share the same skeleton. So let's add this to our project. Download the content and then add to project, selecting our shooter project, and give it a few minutes to load. Okay, so we've downloaded the Paragon Grux character asset package, and we've added this to our project. So I'm gonna go into the Paragon Grux folder Double click characters, heroes, grux, and meshes. Now let's open grux in the mesh editor and see what it looks like. So here is the grux character. You can see it's this big beast creature with a couple of sticks and it's a pretty formidable looking enemy. So this is something that comes with a lot of different assets, including animations and particle systems and different skins. So this is something we can take advantage of. Now, if you want to see an example of Grux moving around and swinging the sticks, you can go to the Grux folder and you have this Grux player character. We can set the default pawn class in the world settings to Grux player character just to see what it looks like. So let's do that. We're gonna set this to Grux player character and hit play. And here we have Grux and we can run around and we can left click on the mouse to swing the weapons. And so this looks like a pretty good enemy that we can use in our game. Okay, so this concludes this video. We now have assets that we can use for an enemy class. In the next video, we're gonna create that enemy class in C++ and start to program some functionality for it. I'll see you then.